Hello everyone, I'm Zoe. So today I'm going to show you how to search difficult words online. So first you open the browser, it can be Safari, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, any browser you like, but my favorite one is Google Chrome. And then um, we go to the Cambridge Online Dictionary. So put spacing, remember? online dictionary so sometimes the popular search showed up and you don't even have to type the rest to go into the Cambridge online dictionary so the first one popping up is the Cambridge dictionary and from chapter one some students reported that they find the word independent difficult so we're going to search the meaning of the word independent and here you can choose different languages you can choose english only english and chinese and i guess some students would like to have chinese explanation so we keep it english to chinese and let's type in the word independent and then you see many other words relevant to independent will automatically show up as well so click independent and this is um, for you if you want to register using your facebook or google account then you can record the words you've been searching for but i'm going to close this function now and so here there are lots of ads around try to stay focused on the main page in the center this is the what our purpose we're learning the definition of a word that isn't familiar to us not clicking in the ads so independent is an adjective we look at the word class that means we use it to describe something or somebody okay so i strongly recommend you to click the pronunciation both uk and the us one and try to follow ones how to, to read the word properly independent and then then you can see there are different definition do not just glance the first one and then that's it because this is very rare that english and chinese have one-to-one -one translation and usually one word can be used in different situations so if we want to know the word completely we need to read all the different definitions so here not influenced not rude not helped and not just reading the definitions we also need to read how to put it in a phrase or sentences so for example the first one not influenced not influenced or controlled in any way by other people events or things so an independent organization it's an organization that can functions by itself without being controlled by any other organizations so okay let's go to the second definition not rude an independent country is not governed or ruled by another country so for example tibet once an independent country is now ruled by china and you can read the Chinese translation as well. And the, th the next one, not helped. Not taking help or money from other people. Grandma's very independent and does all her own shopping and cooking. So this usage may be more relevant to you. So if you are an independent student, then you don't need your parents' help to check whether you finish your homework, whether you've studied for your dictations, you can do it all by yourself. So let's say here, I've always been financially independent. Financially means something to do with money. Okay, that means you can earn your money and spend your own money and you don't need anyone to, to give 
you the support, the financial support. So I guess you are not financially independent yet because you're still a student and a child, and you need your parents to support you. So you're not financially independent, but you're you can be independent when when you do your homework and your dictation. So. So this is the end of my sharing today on how to use a dictionary properly. So try your best to to search the difficult words by yourself online.